Hey you guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessica Expanded and today is Wednesday, July 23rd, 2014. And I just wanted to come on here and do a video for you. I posted on my Facebook um kind of updating some of you guys on my health issues right now. Um for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica, and I have had the lap band for almost two years now. I was banded August 9th, 2012, um, so coming up on my two-year surge anniversary, and um, I the first year I lost about 30 pounds throughout the whole year, um, and then this past year I have just been maintaining. I had a really slight regain. The lowest I saw was 164, but I've mostly been sitting around 168 to 173 um, for the past year. So, just recently I was hospitalized for pancreatitis um, about four weeks ago, and um, they did a bunch of CAT scans, and they also checked my band to make sure everything was okay, and they did a gas where they put a tube, a gastric tube video thing, where they put the tube down your throat and check everything out, um, as well as many other tests. But, um, so basically the two main causes for pancreatitis are alcoholism and, um, uh, gallstones. Um, when they did the CAT scan, they didn't see any gallstones. On my CAT scan so they um, treated me as an alcoholic um, which I am NOT I do like my cocktails uh, I'm a 25 year old girl living in a big city and I like to eat and I like to drink so um, but by no means am I an alcoholic um, and um, to uh, so the doctors kept asking me, you know, how much do you drink? I answered honestly. I said probably three times a week, two to three drinks per time. Um, and on holidays, I drink more. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty accurate. Um, it seems, I mean, I think it may be more than some, but I think it's definitely less than others. Um, it's not like I'm drinking every single day. And, um, I, I mean, I started drinking when I was 20, so it's been five years. And basically what most people said was that I would be needing to be drinking every single day hard liquor for 10 years for this to happen. So, um, I was kind of skeptical. I left the hospital, um, not actually having a um, a cause, a known cause of this. Um, I was in Sacramento at the time. So, um, my mom and my uncle made some phone calls to UCSF because they know some people and UCSF is one of the world's best hospitals <laughs> and with the best doctors. So I wanted to get in there to get, make sure everything was, um, sorted out and for my follow-ups and everything. So, it has been, this happened on June 30th, and so I think it's been three and a half weeks. Um, I'm still not feeling well at all. I have a stomach, it's not even a stom stomach ache, it's like something different. I have pain in my stomach um, every single day, and... You know, I can function, kind of, but um, I'm exhausted. I'm just so tired, and it's hard to do a lot of stuff. So um, I've been off of work as well. Um, anyway, this is half of the video already. Um, so what they said was... Um, oh, anyway, so I went to the doctors at UCSF today 
And it just so happens that the gastric doctors are also the doctors that do the lap band um, and other bariatric surgeries. So they're running the whole bariatric program as well as things like pancreatitis, gastritis, all those things. So it's um, the doctor that I saw, my surgeon that did the lap band, she was strictly lap band and um, uh, gastric bypass. She didn't do anything else, which I thought I liked um, because she was so specialized. But I actually think that having a broader spectrum of what people do is very helpful. So I saw these doctors and um, so basically they said, you know, the way that my enzyme enzymes levels went way up and then the next day shot way down, that's not um, conclusive to alcoholism or a, a blunt force trauma to my pancreas. Um, that is a sign of it being gallstones and he said even though they couldn't see gallstones in the CAT scan it could have been gall debris um which they can't see um and so basically he said we need to take the gallbladder out and I really wish that we could have just done it while I was in the hospital already um, I don't know if that would have been possible, but I would have liked that a lot instead of now, you know, waiting three weeks in pain and then waiting another three weeks to get the surgery. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, from what he says, there's not too many side effects of getting your gallbladder out, but I'm not really sure. And he said, now that I have pancreatitis, getting it again would could be fatal you know like it would be a lot worse than it was and I can't imagine anything worse than what happened to me um and the pain I was in so I do not want that to happen um and so anyway as far as my lap band so these are two separate things um you know the lap band didn't have anything to do with the pancreatitis. My weight loss may have had something to do with it, but since it's not a significant, I mean, it's a significant amount, but <laughs> since it's not like, it wasn't a super fast, super um, lot of weight, um, he said he doesn't think that that is the reason either. But um, he said what could be the reason for the gallstone debris is um, this past year since I've been trying to lose weight, I haven't been yo-yo dieting, like gaining weight and losing weight, but I have been changing my diet styles often. And I, you know, I do super low carb, I do super low calorie, I do super low carb, super high fat, like I was constantly changing um, what I was doing, and he said that could be a reason. So if you guys are thinking about doing, like, the ketosis diet, I'm not saying this is what caused it for me, but um, I, don't, I, I don't know. Like, or the Atkins, you know, I don't know if I would have just, eaten a balanced diet if that would have, if I would have gotten this. He says it could be, you know, it's possible um, since I was on the low carb, um, high fat diet um, for a while. And then I'd switch it all around and do stupid stuff. But anyway, I saw him, I talked to him also about my lap band because the guy that did the scope, um, he said he thought that I had Barrett's esophagus, which scared the crap out of me. I um, Googled it, and it was awful, awful. It was like the um, your esophagus was is like ulcering, so 
your esophagus turn lining turns into like the same texture as your intestinal lining. Gross. Yuck. I don't even want to think about it. And thank goodness that is not what I have. I think um, my esophagus was just really inflamed because I had been vomiting from the pain of the pancreatitis um, through my lap band. So everything was just inflamed, including my pouch and the stomach around in the stomach area. Um, so I, um, you know, I asked him about my lap band. I asked him, you know, is it a good idea to get a fill? Uh, with the diet I'm on right now, it's not like a diet, like lose weight diet, but the way I'm supposed to be eating now, super low fat and low protein. So I've been eating a lot more carbs. Um, and he says he doesn't think that that's a great idea because if I am already limited in my diet right now, as far as what I can eat, if I get a fill, I'll be limited even more. So he said, we'll just take a break on that for a while and just focus on getting better. Although I do want to lose weight very badly <laughs> because I have given up like a lot of things um, to get better and I feel like I should be losing weight. Um, but I, um, oh yeah, so then I talked to him about that. And then I was saying, you know, the band has caused me a lot of, like, uncomfortable days and uncomfortable, it's made me uncomfortable and I've been in pain from the band. Like, when I work out really vigorously, I'm in pain. Um, when I go to work and swim a lot, the band bothers me. And... Um, also severe heartburn when the band is filled. Um, it's filled when it's filled too much, I guess. But if it's any less, then I don't have restriction. So as soon as I have restriction, I get the heartburn. And so he was saying there's a possibility that I could, um, get a revision surgery to the, to the, um, gastric sleeve, which he thinks is more effective, um, for losing weight and keeping it off. And he also thinks that it is less uncomfortable. Um, I would be in less pain, I guess, if I had it done. Um, the only problem is I paid out of pocket for my lap band, so I don't know, we don't know if a revision surgery would be covered. I think that they may cover taking the band out, which I don't want, um, but I don't know if they would um, cover it if they were going to switch. Um, switch. So with that being said, I want to lose 40 more pounds and be around 130. Um, it's a healthy weight for my height. Um, my BMI range should be anywhere from 117, which is very small, to 137. Um, so anywhere in there, 130 sounds good to me. 137 sounds good to me. Um, so that's something we're going to talk about and see if that's a possibility because potentially they could do that surgery while they're taking out my gallbladder. So, um, as far as work goes, I'm super stressed because I want to go back to work. Um, I don't have any of my disability forms filled out because None of the doctors want to fill them out. None of the doctors think it's their responsibility, but someone has to do it. Um, and also my leave from work. I just, you know, I feel, I love my job and I love my patients and my students and 
right now they don't have anyone, you know, and it makes me sad and I want to get back to them, but I also am not sure about going back and then leaving again in a week if I'm going to have the, have the surgery, which I'm going to have the surgery, um, the gallbladder removal. Anyway, this was totally rambling. I hope it made sense a little bit, but that's what's happening. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.